YouTube. Welcome to the 21st day of beta and can you imagine what I'm going to talk about today? I know it's hard to tell isn't it? So tonight I had my tap class and I had some meetings after school and I was like what am I going to make a beta about today? And my good friend at tap class that I kept reminding her of Mickey Mouse with my polka dotted dress and my black pants. So I thought I should talk about Disney bounding because it's probably one of my favorite things in the Disney kind of pop culture realm right now. And if you don't know what Disney bounding is, that's okay. I will tell you about it so that you will know and you can tell other people about it. So Disney bounding is when you wear street clothes to look like a Disney character. Um, I Disney bounded officially for the first time when I was at Disney in February. That's where I got this fun little button that says I'm celebrating Disney bound. And um, originally my cousin and I had talked about doing several different options but what we ended up doing was doing a Hercules Disney bound. So Doug dressed as Hercules. He wore a yellow t-shirt and a blue hoodie. Very simple. Red gives you the Hercules colors and idea. I was Megara and I just wore a simple purple empire waisted top and Jessica was Pegasus and wore mostly white with like a very tealy kind of pop of aqua blue tank top and so we were the three characters from Hercules and some people recognized us and they're like oh are you Disney bounty and then they wanted to know what we are and it was a great experience so Disney bounding actually was started by this late this girl woman named Leslie and I will link to her tumblr below where you can see where she um posts different ideas for disney bounds and shares people who disney bound my two favorite disney bounders right now um so people who go to the park very often and dress like characters are leo and sarah and um a lot of their disney bounds show up on leslie's tumblr so you can look at them there um, my favorite one that they have done so far they did chippendale rescue rangers and like i said very simple items anything that you disney bound should not be costumey it should be things that you would be comfortable in the park street clothes that you would wear and so they found a red button-up shirt and they made the giant yellow stars on it for um I think it's Dale and then Chip had just the big you know kind of Indiana Jones hat and bomber jacket but it looks so good it was so perfect um so yeah so the big kind of rules about Disney bound is it's the first rule is that it should be fun so you should choose what you want a Disney bound as something you would be comfortable in and something you'd be excited about to talk about and be doing and acting like that character that day it should not be costumey so you shouldn't have to feel like you have to go out and buy a whole bunch of pieces and accessories for it a lot of times you just go in your closet and start digging around like I said I was confused for Minnie, Minnie Mouse today just wearing this kind of orangey red polka dotty top in some black um leggings it probably helps now that I have my ears on even more solid but that's okay um this is something that you could do at work I have Disney bounded at work so you don't even have to be at the parks to actually participate in Disney bound obviously one of the biggest movies right now is Frozen and I Disney bounded as Anna by wearing just a blue kind of dress very lightweight jersey dress with a purple like cardigan over it and that gives you her outfit after she changes it from the coronation so the one that you often see her paired with her sister Elsa like in the ice queen dress that dress um like and it was a great disney bound and several students actually were like you look like anna today i was like amen that's what i was going for good job so if you want to spice up your wardrobe or you want to just kind of give yourself like a happy-go-lucky feeling because that's what I do sometimes you should try Disney bounding like I said I will link below to Leslie's Tumblr for you to get some ideas but the most fun is when you are creative in your own mind and some of my favorite other Disney bounds are when they actually like cross so let's say the boy dresses like as Wendy, like in a blue top, and the girl dresses as Peter Pan, like the greens and browns. So there's so much freedom in it, and there's nobody regulating, and it's all about having a good time. And they actually do have Disney bound meetups and all kinds of fun stuff. So maybe the next time I go to Disney, I'll get to meet up with some other Disney bounders. But I know that no matter what, the next time I go to the park, that will definitely be at the top of my list, Disney bounding. So that is my vlog for today. I hope that you guys are having a great week, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!